So specialized hunting, safaris, mounts, um, taxidermy, I guess, uh, conservation, habitat, um, and then of course the firearms and the uh, ammunition, uh, all involved with hunting. So there's hunting here in the United States, hunting for recreational, um, just kind of something to do. There's there's hunting that's done to uh, preserve habitat or maintain populations. There's hunting that's done uh, to deal with predators or uh, pest animals, right? There's those kind of huntings. But in this case, in this part of the Guns R series, we're talking about the special hunting, uh, the safaris, wherever they might be. There's definitely people that go to Africa for the big game safaris, but there's plenty of people that go to other continents or other countries in order to experience the type of hunting. Uh, hunting like anything, like anything is going to be different. Just driving would be different in different parts of the world based on the uh, roads and the scenery and the types of cars and the laws and the rules, right? Same with hunting. It's going to be different everywhere you go. Different animals, different people, different types of folks enjoy, enjoy hunting in different ways. So when we talk specialized hunting and safaris, I don't want to just talk about the African safaris, which most people, when they're marginalizing gun owners, hunters are going to be a certain number of things, and it's used as a division and a divide uh, within the com within a gun community as well, or against the gun community. So in this case, talking about those specialized hunting trips, uh, you can um, talk about things without needing to be uh, against them or for them and uh, you can understand the impact that they have without participating in them. Uh, I can talk about professional sports and have the talk uh, conversations about it without necessarily having to put my um, perspective on professional sports into the conversation. And I think that's possible with hunting as well, at least for most people. There's certainly, I guess, hunting is one of those topics that can, uh, for some people, there's no um, there's no compromise or no talking with the other side, but whatever. If we're talking to most people, uh, I think it's possible to talk about hunting and again, to separate the types of hunting that you might see here in the United States that are more practical or necessary, or some, certainly more uh, um, applicable to the United States than what we're talking about here. But again, we're talking about uh, large hunting, uh, which typically is responsible for population control and population uh, management and species uh, continuation. A lot of countries, unfortunately, aren't able to maintain their own populations at this point of their wildlife, their natural resources. Uh, so by bringing in people uh, who would pay for the opportunity to help them with their uh, selection of animals for depopulation, for example, uh, they're able to save on the costs of a person that pulls the trigger because they're getting paid for somebody to pull the trigger. Often the meat is left behind for the people if they want to eat that stuff or use it for something else. And then uh, the specific trophy pieces are brought back. All that's industry. You can love it or leave it, but uh, that's certainly an aspect of uh, the hunting that uh, has impact on uh, the places where the hunting takes place, as well as wherever it is that the person, the hunter, uh, goes back to or comes from. Uh, because they're typically doing something to create some income in order to take time off and travel like that. There's not, not very, there's almost always significant cost involved when you travel to hunt. Uh, as far as the taxidermy and the, uh, the other specific elements of it, I'm going to leave that up to people who know more about it. As far as the conservation and game management, the wildlife management, I'm going to leave that to people who know more about it, but it's certainly uh, one of the, our hunting certainly has a lot of uh, impact on those elements of wildlife in every country and uh, some of the other elements. Again, I'm going to leave for people who know more about it. Really, in this series, my goal is to start conversations, and in this case, start conversations either with people who know much more about this or give them the uh, microphone so that they can uh, offer some insight to some of these uh, benefits and um, burdens or costs to uh, some of these things that we talk about. So the goal is to change the uh, conversations, to broaden and expand conversations, and to evolve our discussions with others 
when talking about firearms. Let us know how we do. If you have topics or ideas for subjects in this Guns R series, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Thank you for supporting our projects. If you'd like to buy us a cup of coffee, check out our Patreon channel. The guys and gals at gunwebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thank you for watching gunwebsites.com. Do 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 do.